Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jimmy and I'm back at it again with another video for the YouTube channel and also for the viewers who want to update on what I've been doing to my matrix, my first matrix or the second matrix. You guys let me know that I have a second matrix, so here it is. This is a 2003 Toyota Matrix XRS stock with a 2ZZ GE engine and a C60 6-speed trans. This is my first ever manual car. My first ever project car, well actually not really project car, but just like a build, uh, a full out stanced out build, uh, you know, a little bit of performance here and there, no tunes or anything high tech or special, but this is my first officially purchased car with my own money. And the reason why I'm making this video, I actually missed out on Toyota Fest 2021. Unfortunately, because of my sleeping behavior these past couple days, but I'm out here to redeem myself by making my video. And, you know, the end of this year, this car will be gone along with my daily. So I wanna make a video, keep it for the memories and, you know, never forget. So starting things off, we're gonna do a little walk around of the exterior. And so you guys can see what it looks like before I get into detail. It might not be the cleanest matrix with stanced out wheels, staggered setups, wide wheels, all that stuff. But I guess to each their own, and this is my liking. I think you guys are ready for the for the details. So exterior wise, we got the stock body kit from the dealership from the manufacturer from Toyota. Uh, this is the original color 4Q2 standing for Desert Sand Mika. This is the rarest color you can ever find for a first generation matrix aka 03 to First gen is 03 to 08, but you can only find this color in 03, and it's an 03 only color. Super nice, super subtle. It actually tricks people when you, you know, when you go outside and you go for, for spins and stuff like that, because they'll think that you're you're slow, but you know, if you're all modified like this and. You know, little do they know you have a BBTLI and you know high rev, you can actually do some pulls with this car. So starting things off for the front end, we got the NRG Carbon 8 carbon fiber vented hood. This hood is discontinued for who knows how long. NRG told me through Instagram they discontinued it back in 2017 or 2018, I forgot, but somewhere around there. And this hood is carbon fiber on the top as you guys already see don't notice this gap but there will be a gap when this hood is fully closed because aftermarket hoods are life carbon hood underneath it's fiberglass and it looks dope a lot of people say that this hood was originally manufactured by a company called Arabuni. it might be and it might not be However, they're both identical, identical hoods. Towards the front, we have the TRD upper grille, genuine upper grille, and this is the lower grille. Finally decided to mount it after having it for so long. We got the black housing headlights. These came from the base model. Got some LED low beams stock high beams with some yellow tint and some LED turn signal lamps. TRD banner because TRD is life. If you guys don't know me already, I like saying TRD air thing. These out here are the TRD genuine five spoke wheels. The specs are 18 by seven and a half plus 42 offset. Sitting on 225-40R18s, Nanking NS25s. 
Specs on the front, we got 30 millimeter spacers, and in the back we have 38 millimeter spacers. And honestly, if you want decent stock fitment, it's good to run spacers, especially if they're hub centric, so your studs won't break loose. Behind here, we got the R1 concept slotted and drilled rotors with Wagner brake pads. If you guys ever plan on getting ceramic pads, don't go for Wagner because I had to do a lot of cleaning for these wheels due to all the brake dust that was um, widespread on it. And these wheels are actually powder coated. I got them powder coated because when I first bought them, cheap, 125 for a set of four, they came in black with minor chips. I had to get the wheels powder coated and buy new wheel caps for it, center caps. Side body stickers, TRD VVTLI, got these from eBay, looks clean, I mean it matches the whole car, got the black and gold stuff going on. These are TRD Sports side mirror visors, eBay makes them, you guys like eBay, eBay build just like me. These window visors came stock with the car, or maybe from the previous owner, probably from the previous owner. I mean, I don't think any visors come stock with the cars. This carbon fiber trim, the pillar trim, it came from the previous owner as well. So I'm not too sure where it came from. I didn't put them on. These right here are the Visual Auto Works rear window vents that were custom made by me and a couple of Matrix owners. Um, got some mesh on there so people don't throw food into my car because I really hate vacuum every single day. These are really clean, you can find it on their website. I'll post a link down below. These right here, I know that the, it's getting discolored, but these are the AVS Arrow Shades. Uh, discontinued for who knows how long. I got super lucky on eBay back in January of 2020. 80 bucks for the pair of two. And I mean, they do create more of a blind spot, but at the same time, you do have a little window to use as your blind spot but it just looks great. You know, it's like, it runs complete with the whole visor setup. This here is the ATS Duckbill Spoiler. I got a long story to talk about of how I got this wing, but cut in shorter terms. I did wing swaps and I was able to end up with what I really wanted for this car. Because what's a hatchback without a duck bill? Tell me, what's a hatchback without a duck bill? These tail lights right here, if I'm not mistaken, Eagle Eyes makes them. Uh, they're aftermarket, black housing, uh, clear style, OEM style. I don't know which one to call it, but that's my description and how I would like to see these lights as. I have blinker brakes, blinker brake lights or strobe brake lights and uh, LED turn signals, LED reverse. Fitment on point. The front has a little bit of messed up uh, camber adjustment. Might have to fix that to get that, um, that fitment. But yeah, anyways. Oh, can't forget, we got XRS, right? If we have an XRS, we have front and rear disc brakes and rear calipers. These are also R1 Concepts and Wagner brake pads. Get the rotors, but not the pads, because the pads suck. You'll be cleaning wheels every single day. Nanking NS25s, these were cheap on eBay, but they run really well. Good bang for your buck. Good bang for your buck. Got the TRD. I want it to be a wannabe Canada TRD trim matrix. So I bought one from the US and slapped it on there. Pretty clean. It's OEM. Who cares? This license plate frame explains the coilovers that I'm on, obviously. But this one down here, the one that surrounds everything, 
I bought it from a buddy in Texas. His name is Moises Moreno. He used to have a super stanced out red matrix, first gen, super duper clean. When the, when the motor blew, he did a part out, and this was the only thing that I wanted. When you turn on the license plate lights, this whole thing lights up as well. And you know, it makes it more visible for, I mean, cops and whatnot. But I feel like if a cop looks at it specifically, they probably pull me over for it, because I think it's illegal. Not too sure. Down here, same thing, blackout. Little upper diffuser part. This is a TRD, TRD Sport Muffler. Uh, it is OE, TRD Genuine. The logo is not even gonna show up because I'm in the dark, but I can turn it on right now and show you guys how it sounds. I have this uh, TRD muffler linked on to a vibrant resonator. I used to have no resonator before, but having a resonator on actually smooths out the sound and less of a ricey exhaust. Not only down here, you guys probably can't see, I have the Ultra Racing secondary rear sway bar along with the progress sway bar on the very top in place of the stock sway bar and with these two uh, being you know extra extra helpful 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 i mean helpful for the canyons for cornering for stability it's really helpful i would really recommend it to you guys so now since we are out here and i have the exhaust i'm going to turn on the car you guys will be able to see and hear what it sounds like Tyranny exhaust. Now, last little look at the sides. Tyranny banner, no one cares about, but I do. This is recently done. It's a 5D carbon fiber roof wrap. I wanted to do it for the complimentary accents, but unfortunately the show was not able to be forego. So, I mean, it looks clean. Super clean. What do you guys think? Moment of silence. Cool, and we're done. Let's pop the hood check out what's inside so up here like I said before this is an NRG carbon 8 it's not focusing sorry it's an NRG carbon 8 hood and an NRG usually makes steering wheels or steering wheel hubs and over here we have the carbon fiber 2ZZGE Celica engine cover along with the carbon fiber coil pack cover I got very lucky from a seller that actually offered this item to me right when I got the XRS this over here is an 05 to 06 Corolla XRS OEM strut bar or strut brace because it's not really like a bar that goes one way to the other like the TRD one I previously had it doesn't do what it's supposed to do or what you think it should do but it adds to the look because this is a matrix XRS 
and you know XRS things. This is the TRD Genuine Radiator Cap. And um, it's genuine for a fact because on the bottom it has a black gasket and this one was like 35 bucks. The one I previously had on the base model had a blue gasket and it was straight from eBay. So you guys wanna know what's real, what's fake? I'm probably gonna make a video or like a, a little picture comparison from both items. This thing came from the base model, uh, purely uh, no horsepower added, but it's there. I mean, it, it has to look, I don't know, I don't care. This here is the TRD Genuine Cold Air Intake. Got a carb legal sticker on there, strictly for California emissions stock bath sensor the filter goes all the way down to there i'm going to show you in just a little bit where you can see it clear optima battery red top i was in need of a new battery so i had to get one and i decided to go for optima because o'reilly discounts and o'reilly employee discounts shout out to them for that and that sums up the engine bay as i said all stock no mods for the trd air filter it's right there only all threes and all fours have this opportunity if you have an 05 you're gonna have to delete your fog light to get airflow for your air filter but i'm not tuned so i'm not pushing much compared to stock. And this is gonna be it for the exterior, guys. Screenshot, wallpaper, do what you wanna do. Going inside. Got a little paint job done here and throughout the whole car as well. Checking out the key real quick, it's too loud for this video. So we got the uh, Rust-Oleum Desert paint for the bezels of all sorts. I just wanted to add some accent, some you know differences in this car in terms of color. And there you have it. This is an RHI design, RHI fresh air freshener. I got it along with the new, new to a store near you. Just kidding, not a store near you. You have to order it through RHI anyways, but it's a carbon fiber shift gate. And it's basically the same thing as a shift boot, but this is a shift gate and that's it. It comes with their very own uh, shift pattern sticker and that's basically it. Recently gotten collaboration, international collaboration with RHI and uh, you know they're based off in Australia and they make shifter gates for Corolla, uh, well I guess the European JDM Corolla hatchback and the or the Run X and also the Celica GTS and GT and stuff like that. First one for the Matrix, first mod in a minute. And this is gonna be coming to the US very soon. I got this knob just to run it with the shift gate and it looks pretty clean. I've been eyeing it for a while and you know, I decided to throw it on. It looks subtle. This TRD horn button is not an actual TRD horn button. This is actually just a, an emblem going over the stock one. And I got it from some guy that makes it in the UK. Looks pretty authentic. A lot of people can say this is a TRD steering wheel and I'm like, no sir, it's not those $400 ones you guys are thinking. Now let's uh, let's show you what, what else is cool in the exterior. Uh, the interior, my bad. 
this is not your typical USDM XRS cluster face. This is actually from Canada. Got it from a guy named uh, Slyby from Toyota, Toyota Nation or Azure Splash from Instagram. So yes, I am in the US in California, Southern California in specific, and I'm running a kilometer cluster only because for me, I know everyone has different opinions, but I feel like the more numbers, the merrier. And super clean. These mats are from 3D Max Piter. They're actually carpeted instead of weather style mats. So I had to buy some clear ones to throw on just in case I don't mess up the other ones. And yeah, let's uh, let's go through what I have here on the dashboard. So basically this here is my Toyota Fest ticket entry ticket which unfortunately i didn't make it today because 8 30 arrival time i woke up at nine but i mean honestly it's i am bummed out but at the same time yeah i'm really bummed out i'm really bummed out but you know sometimes good things they good things don't happen for a reason and i don't know why it's my case right now. I bought a couple of brochures. For example, this one here, it says available, sorry about that. Available 180 horsepower VVTLI engine and six speed manual transmission. Stop and stare, good looks. Available 17 inch alloy wheels. And that is the USDM cluster, XRS cluster. Coming 010102. Dang, this thing's 02. This thing's an 02X shop. 02XRS, 02 pretty sick. Um, I bought this one as well. It's just like a little, uh, I guess, intro photo to what the matrix would be looking like and how it'll be introduced to the world. Photography is for editorial use only. Wow, that's clean. I wish my matrix was this clean. <laughs> and then all these is just like news, news about, you know, the XRS and, you know, the first gen in general and, you know, how it's gonna be released what kind of specs it has and stuff like that pretty cool things to keep uh you know for the memory and then here we have the og 03 matrix brochure um i can open this out and take pictures of it post it on the gram so you guys can see but pretty legit you know it's like an old newspaper dope as heck but yeah, not bad. Oh, I can't forget. I have a TRD quick shifter. So basically TRD, they made a short shifter for the Matrix XRS. And I'm not sure if it works for the five speed as well, but this is strictly for the six speed and a lot shorter throws. So for example, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, reverse. There you go. I always miss that part. But yeah, I mean, TRD everything, top to bottom. TRD wheels, five spoke, TRD exhaust, TRD cold air intake, TRD quick shifter, TRD oil cap, TRD radiator cap, and TRD banner from China. So that doesn't count. Now we are back out. Oh, I gotta show you guys what my buddy did, a specific light mod for this car. It's the parking light, 
with the fog lights and it's really dope let me show it to you got the one light on fog light next there's a car coming by someone closed the door it's gonna make too much loud noise Sweet. Let's go check it out. Pull it up to a car meet. Park your car. Turn on the... Well, as you can see, this light right here is already glitching because the LEDs are going bad. But you can have your parking lights on along with your fog lights. And with the Tierty lower grill, it looks really clean. Super duper good. And for most cars out there, if you turn on your, your headlights, you can't turn on your fog lights. When I say headlights, I'm talking about the high beam headlights. Your fog lights won't be able to go on. If you turn on your fog lights, you can't turn on your high beams. Check it out. High beams. Wait. There you go. Scratch that, scratch that. There you go. Redo again. There you go. Got all the lights now. Got the low beams, the high beams, parking lights, fog lights, all together in one go. Crazy stuff. But I don't run my lights like that. These are the tail lights, and this is how the frame lights up. I do have a bad license plate bulb, but here it is. Car is at 209,446,000 miles. It still runs well. Cylinder head has been rebuilt at 200,000 miles. I got this car at 199K. Timing cover went bad and also the head was leaking. So good motor, still runs. Probably has like 100,000 or 150 ahead of, ahead of my time. So. Off. one more thing i want to show you guys in the interior is another sway bar and they call it a, a, a interior floor bar and there it is it's made by ultra racing and it sits inside of the car It bolts onto the seat belt brackets on the very bottom. I'm not sure if it even does the handling job, but it's there. It looks nice. It's ultra racing and it was pretty cheap, so I had to buy it. You guys are interested in getting door sill stickers import equipment the same place where i got my matrix owner sticker on the back hatch glass all these little trd neck rests and stuff like that bought them from ebay along with the seat belt covers if i got them for the front i gotta have them for the back because if I don't, it's going to look super weird.
And there you have it. Walk around video of my 2003 Toyota Matrix XRS, OEM stance, TRD everything. One last look. Anyways, I hope everyone has an amazing day. If you guys are out at Toyota Fest, remember to take pictures, show them to me. I don't feel too much bummed out anymore. Um, although I do regret at some point, but I mean, what can I do, right? So it's best to leave behind what I missed and just look forward to the future. Hope everyone has an amazing day. Good luck on your builds. I'm looking forward to seeing all you Matrix owners uh, putting on upgrades, putting in effort to your cars, taking it to shows. I'm gonna make another YouTube video talking about why I'm leaving the car scene and stuff like that. But I really love this car and it's given me hopes. It's given me um, a passion and a hobby and I'll never forget. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video, you guys.